Hello and welcome to MT3. I'm Professor Watts and I'm going to give you a little tour of the class, especially for those of you who are new to my open math. So you might find it a little um, different at first and hard to understand, um, but I assure you that after a couple of days of playing around with it, you will feel much more comfortable. All right, so um, you have a, it, in the beginning here, um, you're going to have when you first open the page, you'll have announcements. And right now it's the welcome announcement because we just started. Ignore any due dates that are, or dates that you see because I use this video um, every semester. Um, so you'll have an announcement and it's important to read through those and you can click to expand or to collapse those if you want to get them out of your way. And of course you found the start here folder because you're watching this video. Um, so below that is your syllabus and you want to read that carefully you can even print it if you want it's got all the due dates and all the policies and then um, if you click on autobiographies that's where you're going to click add new thread and the subject can be your name and then a brief um, autobiography of yourself whatever you want to share with the class is fine if I want to get back out where I was, I just click, these are the breadcrumbs here, and if I click back on the MT3 uh, course name, I go back to where I was. Um, after you've read the syllabus, take the syllabus quiz, and uh, the one after that is entering answers in mom. So that's going to help you learn how to put your answers in mom so you don't get frustrated later when mom doesn't like your answers. And then using the forum in mom is going to give you a tutorial of how you use the forum um, to ask questions and answer questions. And your next step is to continue to the course information folder. So if we go back in the breadcrumbs, click on course information. Um, we have a syllabus again because that's a syllabus belongs in course information. Your textbook and materials are listed here. Um, you should, you don't need to buy any textbooks for the course, um, but you do need a very basic four function calculator. You can usually get one for a dollar. Um, my information, if you click on instructor information, uh, my office hours are posted, a little biography of myself, and a picture. Um, if you want to know more about how the gradebook works, uh, you can click on gradebook information, there's testing information, course navigation, uh, technical help if you have any technical issues, uh, netiquette if you've never taken an online class before, um, you might want to read the statement on netiquette so that you don't accidentally offend someone. Um, if you have, if you need accessibility, mom is pretty good for that. Um, so there's some information here on how to get accessibility in MOM. Um, water cooler is just a place for you guys to socialize. Um, I don't typically go in there unless somebody complains. So it's just for students, not for the instructor. Uh, kind of like hanging out in the hall before or after class, talking to your classmates. I think I found a mistake as a forum. If you find that something doesn't match with the syllabus and the course, something like that, just let me know and I'll give you extra credit um, if you're the first one to post it in that forum. And then if you have any questions whatsoever, um, preferably non homework questions, but if you post homework questions there, that's fine too. Ask Professor Watts is the place to ask any general question you have about the course. All right, so to go back out to the home, I click my breadcrumb. And um, after we've kind of we've done all our start here stuff and look at the course information, we want to go to week one. And we have our objectives here. So it's good to read through those so you know what you're supposed to be learning. And you don't need to print the book um, or buy the book or anything because your links to your textbook reading will be right here within the week. So if I click on this, it opens the textbook up and um, there's quite a bit to read here. It's uh, so 77 pages. See, <laughs> you might not, you, some of that is just homework exercises and whatnot, but you'll read through your book um, for that week. 
and take down any notes. Um, but if you're more of a video person, there's all these videos. And you may not need to watch all of them. Um, but, you know, you can always go ahead and click on the week one practice or the week one homework. And um, within there, so this is a homework assignment. It's actually graded. Some of the problems um, will have a video. It'll say worked example one, and it'll show you how to do it. Now, if it doesn't have a video, or even if it does, and you still know how to do it, you click on post this question to the forum, and it automatically puts it in the forum for you. All you need to do is say what your question is and click post thread. You can also click post anonymously so that no one sees it, or no one knows that you did it. I mean, we'll all see it, but we won't know who it is. Um, so you'll do your week one homework, and then the questions about week one are that forum is already embedded into the week one homework, and that's where your homework questions will go. But if you want to post something, uh, if somebody's already posted like no, question number three and you want to ask yours too, then you can click on questions about week one and you can post your question number three. So after you finish week one, then you go on to week two, and you'll notice in week two, it's about the same. You have your reading, your videos, practice is just an extra place to practice, your homework, and but then you also have a midterm. So there's a midterm review that's not graded, but it's a good way to practice for the actual midterm. And on midterm, you, your time, you only have one hour and you only have one chance covers everything you've done so far. You do get three attempts for each problem with a 10% reduction for each missed attempt. Okay, and then the final week of the class, it's a very short three-week class, you have your normal um, week three uh, reading assignment videos and practice and homework. And then after that, you have all your final stuff. So you're, here's a whole bunch of final exam information. Um, if you can't come to one of TC's testing centers, you can find your own proctor, but you need to give me this proctor request form at least one week before the test is due. And um, if you have a webcam and microphone and $15, you can also do the remote proctor right from the comfort of your own home. There's a place to ask questions about the final, and there's a review homework, a practice final quiz, and then finally the final exam. So you get lots of practice before you actually take the exam. But that's a busy week for you because you not only have some learning to do, but you also have your final. All right, in course evaluation, um, you're going to show me proof that you did the uh, the course survey or student evaluation that TCC is going to email you about. Um, so you can just, there's some examples in there when you click on it to sh that I show you what I'm looking for. And then the course survey is my own survey and you get extra credit for doing both of these. And I really appreciate it if you do them. And that's it. That's a tour of the course. If you have any questions or problems, please just reach out to me. Don't hesitate. I'm happy to help you.